All right, you guys already know what day it is. We have a huge unboxing from Speed Cube Shop. Um, and I've got no clue what any of this is. And so we are gonna unwrap this and discover it together. But first off, we got that Speed Cube Shop mat. Grab one of these, hit me up with code OPULENT. Gives you guys a discount. All right, here's a quick little overview. But let's just grab these one by one and see what we've got. So first off, we've got some kind of five by five MGC. I think one of you guys recommended this to me. Uh, you guys said my five by five was really crappy. Um, so I had to pick up another one. So YJ, MGC, uh, I'm guessing that means magnetic. We'll grab these car keys once again, just to kind of open up the package here. Man, nothing better than opening up new cubes. All right, so we've got this uh, really nice kind of fitting around it. And it looks like we can just kind of drop the box down like a new phone. Boom. So we see our five by five. We see our little <laughs> box of goodies. Throw that to the side. I am more interested in this five by five. So let's get this thing unwrapped here. All right, not bad. It feels a little bit heavier than any 5x5 I've ever owned, but uh, still pretty nice. I don't think it's UV coated, but it's shiny, which kind of leads me to believe that it is. Uh, so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong here, but let's just start with the outer layer. Man. I did not know a 5x5 could feel this good. Props to whoever told me to get a new 5x5. This is awesome. Uh, and we can see the little magnets in the pieces. It's nice because it, it doesn't lock. Like it actually corner cuts fantastic for a 5x5. Man, I like this a lot. Appreciate whoever, uh, whoever told me to get a new one. Let's go ahead and put this to the side and see what else we got. Oh yeah, and the box of goodies. Same old, same old, we got springs, springs, a uh, screwdriver, a pamphlet. Pretty nice that they include this. I know a lot of new cubes aren't including that stuff anymore. All right, next up we have another new cube, the YJ Apari, I think is how you say that. Uh, this thing was like on the brand new tab on 3x3s on Speed Cube Shop. So uh, you guys already know I had to pick it up. Again, we're back here with the car keys. So, little side note, I am working with Speed Cube Shop to get a custom creator cube, like some kind of OV 3x3. Um, and I told them I wanted to stay in like the cheaper range, but still like really functional. And I wanted to get a cube that not a lot of creators were using, if not any. Um, and so since this is new, this could be one of our new contenders. But if you guys think of any other cube you guys want me to make my creator cube with, let me know in the comments and I can definitely uh, talk with Speed Cube Shop and see what we got going. But uh, on another note, I don't know how to get this box open. There we go. So first off, I got to say, uh, this orange packaging is really nice. I'm a big fan of orange packaging. Um, this is also kind of nice too. It's like a... It's like one of those things they put over your cube at competitions. Like you can almost use it like that. Um, inside, we have our goodie bag. We don't need to see two of those in one video. Um, and we've got our cube. So first off, I uh, really like this center cap design. It's pretty intriguing to me. Uh, really nice color scheme. Blue might be a little bit dark for my tasting, um, but let's just see how this cube performs. I haven't bought a YJ cube in like probably 10 years. Um, so I'm curious to kind of see how they evolved. So there's the cube. Let's do some turns. Uh oh. So uh, right off the bat, the plastic feels really, really cheap. Uh, not gonna lie. Um, and the pieces almost sound like hollow, but 
I'm really curious to see what like some really good setting up, breaking this cube in, um, putting some good lube on it. I'm curious to see what it does for the cube. Uh, again, we've got like a really cheap logo, like the clear coat they used is uh, not the same color as the piece almost. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can totally tell like where that sticker is. They should have just done no sticker or done like just the logo. I don't know why they need like this whole surface area covered. Uh, just kind of a personal critique. Now we see there is no lube pattern on the pieces. Uh, on the corner piece, it kind of has a lube, lube pattern. It's like a grid, so pretty interesting. And this thing does have magnets, um, but I don't know. It turns nice. It's not catching a lot as of now, but I'm curious to see if more setting this cube up um, kind of does anything special for it. So if you guys want, maybe I'll shoot a review for this in two or three weeks once I've used it a little bit more. So <laughs> this has been overdue. A lot of you guys have been blowing me up asking to see me get a WRM V10. Um, and look how cool this box is. They've got a whole like isometric explosion of the cube. Really cool, lots of Chinese, don't know what that says, uh, but that is also really cool. Look at like those little gears they've got in the core. Pretty neat. I've got some high expectations for this cube, so hopefully you guys weren't pranking me, giving me like a bad cube to buy. I don't think you guys would do that, but. And if you guys wanna see reviews on any of these cubes, like as separate videos, let me know and I can definitely, definitely work that out. But for now, we've got this, and we'll pull open the box, showing us our very thick accessory box. Now I'm kind of curious what's in here. This thing is huge. So we've got, <laughs> I guess 90% of that was instructions, but we also have more instructions, uh, some kind of business card, and then look at this tool. I've never seen anything like that. Really cool, I'm really curious to see uh, how this works with setting the cube up. Uh, and then we have more cards in the box. I hope all these cube companies know that nobody ever reads those cards, so. All right, so it looks like they included the same uh, like clear box as the YS3M, so no need to design a new one if what you got is working fine. Uh, but this thing is a pain to open right now. Okay, well that works too. It's always hard to get these cubes out of the box if they've got like the clear plastic wrap over it. Uh, but WRM V10, let's see how this thing does. And I can already tell you just from taking this out of the box, it is super light, uh, but the plastic feels really cheap and really thin. So I guess without further ado, let's see how this thing turns. That's nice, it's nice, it's like really snappy. The magnets are aligning just right. Guys, this might be my new main, maybe. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to play around with it, set it up, but this is nice. I may slow it down just a little bit, uh, but really cool cube. Um, maybe I'll shoot a review for this. I know this cube's been out for a little bit, so maybe not. But you guys let me know. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to see anything. Uh, color scheme on this, really nice. But this blue is really dark compared to some of my other cubes. Overall, nice cube. All right. We got a couple other things in the box here. Not that box. Um, we have our, I think this is the Tornado V3. Yeah, Tornado V3. Pink Cube Shop included some other stuff for me. And we'll kind of go over what this stuff is. Uh, first off, we've got two sets of magnets that are kind of stuck together here. And these magnets <clears throat> will be going to my uh, custom cube I'm kind of designing on my channel here. So I've got these magnet holes, but no magnets yet. So we'll put those to the side. We've got our nice Speed Cube Shop uh, sticker here. Can't go wrong. Business card with all the Cuba resources on it. Love Speed Cube Shop for that. Um, and then we've got quite a few stickers in here and you guys guessed it. 
Uh, these are for my custom cube on 3D printing. Um, honestly, I, I just told him, I was like, if you guys have any extra stickers, damaged stuff in the back of the warehouse, uh, anything you want, uh, just throw them in. You don't have to. Um, and they were nice enough to throw these in for me. So I appreciate them uh, a lot for that, actually. So these will be going on my custom cube with the magnets. It will be awesome. So you guys don't want to miss it. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it. With that being said, we have one final cube. This is another one that you guys have been talking up for as long as I can remember. Um, and I've had the V1 and the V2. Um, now the V1 that I have is from some kind of off brand called the New Island. It's the New Island Phoenix, but it was really a Tornado V1. So I'm really curious to see how this compares to that. So if I can get this open, which I will, don't worry guys. Boom. All right, so uh, box feels a lot cheap. The printing on it's really nice, but this feels really, really cheap. Down there, it's already falling apart a little bit, but we can just, no biggie. So kind of a nice unboxing experience. They've got the biggest accessory packet I've ever seen. Um, and then we get another clear plastic case with the cube, but let's, man, if the whole instruction pamphlet's taking this up again, I'm gonna be, man, a business card? These are always nice, but Gan, I've got like 20 of these. Don't need it. Uh, we've got more instructions. Don't need it. Cleaning cloth. Don't need it. Setting tool. Don't need it. Actually, I probably do need that. Not going to lie. Um, and we have a nice little cube bag. This is nice. It's like almost leathery. It's not real leather, but it's nice. It's a nice little switcheroo on things. Um, and then we have our... How to solve it packet but my guess is if you bought this cube you already know how to solve a rubik's cube so uh you probably won't be needing that but you guys are here to see the cube let's see the cube so very nice uh gan style case this reminds me of the one that came with the 11m pro um not bad and the cube has a really nice weight to it it's heavier than our wrm v10 uh Oh, it almost feels like double the weight. I know it's not, but it's pretty close at least. Um, now we get that like UV coat on the pieces here. Then their logo. I'm not too fond of their logo, but it is nice to have a logo on a cube. We have, man, it looks like adjustable magnets. Not sure. These ones don't look adjustable. Um, and then I'm sure they've got their adjustable tensioning system in the core. Uh, if you have a Rubik's Cube brand and you aren't putting adjustments on your cube, what are you doing? All right, there we go. Look at that. It's got nice colors to it. And, oh man, they color-coded the wheel, which is really nice. A lot of the cubes I own don't do that. And I'm, like, trying to look, like, really close to see the numbers. I can never see them. Uh, I'm dying to do first turns. Let's do it. Man, it's really smooth. Like it almost feels like it has lube in it already, but it doesn't. Uh, and I'm guessing that's because they used a certain type of plastic on these inside pieces. It's a great choice by them. Uh, we have a lube pattern on the corners, but not a lot on the edges, almost. We kind of do. Um, really quiet. I mean, if you're gonna go cube in school, this would be the cube to uh, do it with. This thing's really quiet. I don't know, this may this may uh, beat out the WRM to be my main. Where'd that thing go? Let's try it. Oh, I don't know guys, they're both really good. You can see the difference in the colors though, for real. The, uh, the Tornado has a lot deeper orange, green, red, that's mainly due to its shininess. Blue's nice. The white's a lot more white. Like this almost looks like they kind of use like a gray tone on it. Yellow's about the same. Not bad. I'm going to be, uh, geez, 
I've really got to sit down, mess with these, uh, solve them a couple hundred times, and then set them up. I'm really, really interested to see which one becomes my main, but I'm guaranteeing you now, it is gonna be one of these cubes. These things are awesome. You guys did a great job with the recommendations. Keep them coming. I'm always looking to get new cubes. Um, and with that being said, appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you for sticking to the end. If you guys made it to this point in the video, comment Speed Cube Shop Matt, like one of these things, uh, just to confuse everybody in the comment section. Um, and if you guys want any of these cubes, speedcubeshop.com, code opulent. Um, and we can get you hooked up with that 5% discount. But appreciate y'all for watching and take care. Peace.